Welcome, in this video I will show you how to play games from your Steam library on your Samsung uh, The Frame TV. So the easiest way would be uh, getting a HDMI cable like this, uh, which I suppose that you have, if, especially if you have a gaming console, um, that you connect to your TV, like uh, PS5 or, or maybe an Xbox console. Uh, and so, yeah, you can just plug in one side of the cable to your PC and the other side uh, to your uh, Samsung One Connect box. And uh, this way you'll be able to uh, just cast the screen from your, uh, from your computer to your TV and uh, and just play, uh, play, play uh, you, uh, can then connect, connect to, for example, your controller uh, to either your computer or your TV and play, uh, no, to connect your controller to, to your computer and then play your favorite games on Steam. And uh, this is possible and this is the easiest way generally, but uh, if your computer and your TV are located in separate rooms, you can still play uh, games on Steam seamlessly. If you still have this one HDMI cable, uh, using your phone or your tablet, if it supports an HDMI connection type. Well, of course, uh, it's hard. It's really hard to tell and you, uh, and you should really uh, check, uh, a, a, for example, GSM Arena uh, website. Uh, for compatibility, if your phone is has uh, is compatible with HDMI, HDMI connection type, and uh, of course, yeah, the HDMI uh, uh, will not uh, the, the the end of the HDMI cable will simply not fit into your smartphone. Therefore, uh, we're also gonna need to get a dock like this that supports both uh, USB Type C or maybe the Lightning. Uh, cable that will, will connect to the smartphone and on the other side it should have the, it has it must have this HDMI port and so it would be great if it also has a port for charging your smartphone now uh, so so that it can be charged during this process and of course your smartphone for example I'm using this uh, Google Pixel uh, 8 it's not like super new uh, I would say and, and it supports the HDMI connection type of course alternatively you can just stream the screen of your phone to your TV but this way uh, the latency will be just enormous and and, and it's it, it, and uh, this is not the experience uh, that you're looking for I, I think uh, because this way it will be easier to simply play on your PC right uh, so uh, what we're gonna have to do is first grab this, uh, grab our mobile device like our smartphone or tablet and uh, go to either Play Store or App Store depending on which kind of device are you using uh, for this uh, let me switch the language to someone okay uh, so yeah and, and search for search for an application this uh, Steam Link Okay, so here it is. The Steam Link is, a, is an official uh, Wolf uh, application. I'm not sure why the screen is blurry. Maybe it's because it's too dark. Uh, but yeah, generally it's called Steam Link and we're gonna need to download this application. Then just open it. You don't have to sign in or anything. Uh, you're just gonna have to connect to your computer so uh, your your once you open this run this application, you will find uh, your your device will start scanning for available computers, and you're gonna have to select uh, the computer that you want uh, the, on which you have the Steam opened. Uh, so your computer uh, just select it and uh, uh, tap connect. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have this option right here because I'm already uh, connected to it. Uh, so once you're connected, your network will be tested and uh, you'll be notified about your ne network speed if it's enough to use Steam Link or if it's not and then eventually uh, you will see your uh, Steam on your 
smartphone. Uh, now, what we're gonna need to do next is grab our uh, One Connect Samsung One Connect box and then grab the HDMI cable and plug in uh, plug it in to the one of the uh, to one of the available ports that are located on the back side of your uh, box. Uh, they are uh, listed. This one is the first one, so it's the HDMI one, and this is HDMI two. Uh, so plug in, in into whichever you, you want. Actually, uh, I'm only uh, explaining uh, it to you so that you can uh, later choose the, the, the right uh, connection. Okay, so uh, next, uh, grab your uh, grab your uh, dock and plug in the other side of the HDMI cable into it. And uh, after that, I also recommend uh, plugging in the charging cable into the same adapter so that your device can charge uh, when you're playing. And so then let's actually close this application and instead uh, connect our adapter or our dock to the smartphone, just like this. And then if your phone supports a ZMI connection type, you'll see a notification like this. Uh, you'll see the mirror display option here. Uh, select it. And then uh, what we're gonna have to do is grab our pilot and uh, yeah, it's switched automatically in my case, but generally if it doesn't, if it's not switching, you're gonna have to go to the sidebar, uh, go to connected devices and select HDMI, and HDMI one or HDMI two, depending on which one you use to, to connect your smartphone. And uh, now uh, for even better experience, I would recommend uh, connecting a controller. I uh, personally use this DualSense controller. Uh, if you have an Xbox controller, you're gonna have to put it into the pairing mode by uh, turning it on by pressing the Xbox uh, button right here, and then hold down the pairing button, which is located approximately uh, in this spot. Uh, so uh, if you're using DualSense controller, you're gonna have to press and hold the Create button and the PlayStation button at the same time until the lights on your controllers a controller start throbbing and then on your smartphone uh, thankfully I don't have to show it to you uh, since you already see the screen of my smartphone you're gonna have to open settings once you find them go to connected devices then go to pair a new device select your controller Then tap pair. And now we can go to the Steam link. And yeah, uh, this is probably not what you see in front of you uh, on, on, on your TV screen. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to fix it real quick. Hold down the, uh, no, actually just press the, uh, press the settings button on your uh, remote control then open settings, then go to all settings, uh, then go to picture mode, and go to picture size uh, settings, then zoom and position, and then uh, I'm gonna reset it so that you, you can show it. Yeah, that, and that's, that's probably what you see in front of you right now, uh, right? And so uh, pictures, uh, no, uh, picture size setting, yeah, and uh, zoom and position. And now let's just adjust the image to our TV size. Yeah, it, it's it's not gonna be like stretched or anything if you do it right. And so uh, more or less, uh, it should look like this. Then you can close uh, this uh, menu and then uh, let's go back, back, back until we are in our Steam library. So uh, I, I just downloaded this application so I can show you how it actually works uh, because I mentioned it's working seamlessly so I gotta well prove my my point I think so now uh, let the game uh, actually load and I'm gonna show you how it works okay so here is the main menu of the game let's stop play and now let's select the character uh, stage mode okay so 
let's go and uh, now uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you my controller to, so that you can see the latency and as you can see the latency is uh, minimal in this case uh, generally yeah of course uh, the latency will also depend on your uh, network connection speed but you will be notified about it in the steam link application on your smartphone so generally you can see everything for yourself the graphics are well not perfect i mean i mean it's not the game to even talk, talk about graphics but uh, generally speaking yeah it's I, I can totally see that there are some some minor freezes but generally speaking uh it's still playable it's it's totally playable at this point uh, and it's uh, really a good result uh, and I'm and I'm really uh, satisfied about it uh, and then you can just uh, you know you can just uh, when you when you're bored you can just press the home button on your TV and return to the home screen and uh, and also you know uh, close the game either on your computer or on your, or on your smartphone and so, uh, yeah, basically that's how we do it. Uh, and I hope that this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please consider subscribing to our channel. Leave us a like and a comment below. And I'll see you in the next one.